Hello, this is Raymond Gabriel. Welcome to a new Blender tutorial series. If this is the first time watching one of my videos, this channel is all about how to get you started using Blender. It's free and is packed with features, so I'm sure it will be a great tool for you to use in your work. This will be a two video series. In this part, I'm going to set up this character and get it ready for rigging in the next part. I have already made a complete tutorial about how to do that, but in this series, I'm going to show you a different approach that you might find easier. I hope you find this useful. Let's get started. What we have here is all the character parts that we will be using in this tutorial. You can download this character pack from the original link in the description below. In my previous tutorial, I have assembled all these character parts in one image using GIMP and exported the image out and started using it in Blender. It's a good approach in my opinion, but it involves more steps like UV editing. In this video, I'm going to use the character parts as they are like that as separate images. If you have drawn your own character in GIMP, by any chance, you can export out the layers in separate images by using an add-on called export layers. I will leave the link to this add-on in the description as well. When you get it installed, you can now press file, then press export layers. You can choose the destination from here, then click export. That should export each layer you have in its separate image. Okay, let's get into Blender. I'm going to be using an add-on called import images as planes. You can enable it from edit, preferences, and then from the add-ons tab, search for import, then enable it, then save preferences. It will do just as its name says, it will import all the character images we have, each one on a separate plane. Now you can press file, and from the import section here, you can see import images as planes, click that, and then go to where you saved your character images, press A to select all of them, from here, select shadeless, Scroll down a bit and select dots per blender units so that each image gets imported with the dimension of the image itself. Ok, now that we have all the character images imported as planes, press Z and choose material preview so we can see the art itself. You'll see that it has imported nicely with the alpha channel already set as transparent. But you might notice that the colors are slightly different from the original image. We can fix that by going to the Render tab, then scroll down to Color Management and change the View Transform from Filmic to Standard. Alright, let's start assembling the character pieces. Press A to select everything, press R, then X, and then 90, press G, then Z, and move them up like that. We will be viewing the character from the front, so move your view using the scroll button. And when you get to the front view like that, press Alt, and that should snap the view to the front orthographic view. You can also press 1 on your numpad to get the front view, or from view, viewpoint, and select front. Now start moving each part in the correct position. You'll see that the images might not be appearing correctly. That is because they are all on the same location in the Y direction, so start moving them by pressing G, then Y, and move the parts that are in front a little in this direction, and the parts at the back in the other direction on the Y axis. Now I have all the character pieces assembled, I can start adding the bones that will control this character. But there is a problem with the planes right now, and that is it's very low poly. If you press tab and went to edit mode, you will see that each plane only consists of four vertices at the corners. They can certainly be rigged like that, but we will not have any deformation in the mesh when they move, as there is not enough vertices to control. For some parts of this character, that will not be a problem, like the head, for example. It will only be moving like that, so no deformation is needed. All the other parts can also move in the same way, but that will make the character look very mechanical in my opinion. Instead, I want to add more vertices to the mesh, so I can have some deformation which will make the character animation look better. Let's start with the body. Select it, then press Shift H to isolate it. Now press Tab to go to edit mode. We need to get the outline of the mesh matching with the outline of the art. To do that, we can press K for the knife tool and start slicing the mesh, and cutting the empty parts like that. Then press enter to confirm the slice. 
I will do the same thing with all the empty parts. Now press 3 for face select or from here choose this for face select. Press Alt A to deselect everything and only select the empty parts by holding down shift. Now press X and choose faces. Okay, now what I want to do is add more vertices. So press 1 for vertex select, then press A to select everything, then right click and choose subdivide. You'll see that this has added more vertices but at the outline edges and not in the middle. So before subdividing the mesh, I'll first undo the last step and then press Ctrl T and that should triangulate the mesh and add these edges in the middle. Now when I press right click and subdivide, the middle edges will be subdivided, creating more vertices in the middle. Then press here for the subdivide menu and change the number of cuts to 10. It might not be a very clean way to do it, topology wise, but it gets the job done. And for a 2D character like that, we don't need a perfect topology and this will do just fine. Okay, now this part is ready, let's move on to another one. Press Alt H to unisolate this mesh and bring back the hidden parts. Then I'll start doing the same thing with all the other meshes, except for the head and for the finger part right here, as we will not be needing any deformation for them later. Okay, and for the bow, I will just add more slices in this gap here. So when I delete all these faces, I'll be able to rig the string of the bow later in the next part. I need the strings here to have somewhat uniform topology. So when it deforms after rigging it, it will look okay. So to do that, I need this face to be a quad, meaning it should have exactly four vertices. To do that, I'll select this vertex, hold down shift and select this vertex, then press J and that should add an edge between them. And for the other side, I can do the same thing, but this already has an edge connected. So right now this face is a quad. Now I can press Ctrl R to add an edge loop right here and use the scroll button to increase the number of loops. I will make that about four. After that, I will just do the same steps as before. Press Ctrl T, then press right click and subdivide it, then change it to 10. Okay, now that I'm done subdividing all these parts, let's move on to rigging. But I don't want this video to drag longer than that, so I will show you how to rig this character in the next part. You can check out my other 2D character tutorial which includes all the steps. I hope you found this tutorial useful, if you did, please leave a like so it can reach more people. You can also get this fully rigged character from my Patreon page. I want to thank all my patrons for their support, it's a huge motivation to keep creating more tutorials. If you want to see more of this content, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified as soon as new videos get uploaded. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.